Meta is an AR company founded in 2013, and in 2016 they launched the Meta 2 to compete with the Microsoft HoloLens. I am proud to announce that starting today, our company is now Meta. Immersed Robot so we had a Facebook Connect yesterday and it was really Mark Zuckerberg laying out a clear pitch for the future of Facebook, especially in relation to immersive technologies and the metaverse really. And there was of course the big rebrand to Meta. We also found out shortly after that they would be retiring the Oculus brand in 2022 and the Quest would then be known as the Meta Quest. So I'll just try to briefly sum up the keynote, um, but I do want to cover as many points as possible here just in the next couple of minutes. So they started off with Metaverse talk about an embodied internet where you will be within the experiences and Mark Zuckerberg saw this as a successor to the mobile internet. He spoke about Horizon Home, a social home place which will come to the quest, and Horizon World, a virtual world to meet and play games and experiences, Horizon Workrooms, which is workplace collaboration we know and then that he also went into horizon marketplace and growing a metaverse economy and a lot of the emphasis in this as well was on sort of commerce and economy in the future metaverse speaking or alluding to nfts and those kinds of things and he sees the metaverse as utilizing all forms of technology so primarily focused on ar and vr devices but also being able to experience it at least in the near term on computers and mobile phones all combined within one metaverse then we learn a little bit about some upcoming titles and some updates for the quest so a little bit more near term on this section and the exciting thing here was GTA San Andreas coming to quest at some point in the future then he spoke about some fitness apps as well and a fitness accessories pack coming to quest next year and then he really went back to the future again and talking about AR glasses and the remote work applications of the metaverse. There was then some discussion about 2D internet services coming to the metaverse and allowing you to sort of import um, apps, sort of 2D apps into the Quest as well. And there was also a long section on the studying and education applications of the metaverse as well, with them announcing $150 million for developers to create education and studying applications. The subsidising of uh, devices will continue as well and side loading and connections to PC will also still continue and they want 1 billion people in the metaverse within the next decade. There was then a long winded and slightly cheesy section about commerce in the metaverse and then Zuckerberg spoke about humility and openness and willingness to work with anyone who wants to help build the metaverse as well. Speaking about the presence platform, Andrew Bosworth said that this is really to help developers utilise various features of the Quest platform speaking about hand and gesture with the interaction SDK and then the voice SDK as well for voice commands and he also spoke about some advancements to the pass-through API for contextual awareness blending real world objects with virtual objects as well. Then there was a section on responsibility in this future metaverse so Nick Clegg made an appearance and he spoke about some responsibilities and policies for the metaverse. Zuckerberg spoke about open standards and building the metaverse responsibly before we got onto some future hardware talk as well. Now he spoke about Project KMVR which I'll get onto a little bit later but this is basically the rumoured Quest Pro that we heard about before the event. Um, he then went on to talk about AR glasses, Ray-Ban as the first step to true AR glasses. He then spoke about Project Nazare which will be the full AR glasses which are really they seem to be described as almost like the dream of AR with that very small form factor everything miniaturized and a great display as well something which is probably not quite possible yet but I'll get into that in a moment too. Michael Abrash came out and spoke about some future technology as well advanced Kodak avatars, photorealistic avatars, photorealistic environments and real-time rendering so you can speak to people in real time with all these advancements as well wrist-based neural interfaces for gestures, full-speed typing and then AI interaction models which is interesting um, it was basically showing how these future AR glasses will have contextual awareness of objects and then combining this with BCI as well to guess user intentions at any moment to help them out in their daily lives. And then the final thing, the one more thing announcement was the Meta.
to rebrand. So with all of that out of the way, it seemed like this was Mark Zuckerberg really laying out a long-term future plan for Meta, dealing with the metaverse and focusing on high-end future tech to experience it with. And he mentioned the next decade a couple of times at points, but then also showing the advanced AR technology and holograms as well. And this is really something, some of the, the computer renderings that were going on here is something that's really not possible with today's technology. And we've learned that from many experts in the field like Carl Gutog who is very much skeptical that a pair of AR glasses in that form factor of very thin glasses is ever possible anyway due to the laws of physics of and the wavelength of light and all of these other things he's discussed over the years but I mean I'm not an expert on this stuff and I really don't understand this tech to any great depth I'm just going on what I've read and watched about all these things um, and just having a general interest in augmented reality anyway but it does seem like a breakthrough in display technology and miniaturization is what is being relied on here. Although Zuckerberg knows probably better than anyone what they have up their sleeve and it will be interesting to see what the next 10 years brings. So the main interesting snippet for me from the short term we got from this keynote in terms of hardware was Project Cambria, which is the rumoured Quest Pro. And we half expected an announcement here at this current Connect, and we just got a little tease really. And it is coming next year, and it's going to be a high-end headset although perhaps on the same XR2 chip as the current Quest, but it will have integrated face tracking, eye tracking, and integrated cameras on the controllers, so you won't have the need for those tracking rings anymore either. And it will also have mixed reality full color pass-through, and this is very similar to the work that Lynx are doing with their R1 headset, and you can check out some of my other videos over the past couple of weeks for some more information on that if you want to. So Project Cambria is interesting, but we only got a very small tease and we'll have to wait longer for some more information on that it seems. So overall this connect was not really focused on the near term and almost everything was just laying out a future plan for the next decade as Facebook begin their rebrand to Meta. And I'm interested in this future vision of the Metaverse but it's probably too early to really understand exactly how something like that might play out so time will tell I suppose. But that's pretty much it for this video just a very brief wrap up or brief as I could make it anyway and uh, yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Please consider picking up my science fiction virtual reality focused novel The Memory Engine, a light-hearted tongue-in-cheek adventure through the metaverse, available on Amazon Kindle, paperback and as an audible audiobook. Links in the description to this video.